There are a few things I cannot talk about. And one of them is the slaughter of the Funcon Lottery Army. What they encountered August 4th, 2021 was pure butchery. It was the worst and bloodiest defeat in the history of the Funko Wars. Their memories will live on in the heart of every Funko Warrior. For August 5th was a new day, and every new day brings hope for glory. Determined to turn the tide of war and change the course of history, the Funko Army took up arms and pushed forward. The first defeat came in the middle of the night as one battalion was instantly wiped from the battlefield. On the Funkadonian left, the enemy's tactics were unconventional. But the Funko warriors who remained standing had a few unconventional tactics of their own. The Funkadonian right phalanx stood no chance. Their lines broken. The game stopped here. The brave and battle-hardened cavalry were lost in confusion, failing to even enter the fray. Songs will be written in their memories. With all their might concentrated in the center, the Funko Warriors made one final push for victory.
the Funko army was not ready for this type of warfare. It was brutal and barbaric. The enemy fought with no care for their own lives, attacking the Funko warriors with the ferocity of a million men, leaving a pile of corpses, twisted and mangled, their will all but broken. But with just a glimmer of hope left, collecting plastic the Great rallied his fellow Funkadonians and rode straight toward the enemy with visions of ripping its beating heart from its chest, leading the few remaining soldiers to bittersweet victory. Collecting Plastic the Great, sheathed his sword, wiped the enemy's blood from his face, and gathered his spoils. The wealth of Toy Tokyo, the treasures of the Funko shop, the riches of the retailers were his. And so was the Eternal Sea.